This morning I'm out here on this turf, which is in a small park area uh, down the street from uh, where I live. And uh, if you notice, you notice the white color on the turf. This is frost. Uh, the temperatures right now are around freezing. Um, it's been a clear night, no cloud cover. Temperatures down again around freezing and it's uh, the sun's coming out. Those are good conditions, especially with no wind where frost can form on a, on a turf. And uh, uh, one of the things about frost is that oftentimes in sports, and I'll be specific to golf, we get into frost delays. And when you have frost on the turf, you can't go out and do mowing uh, or, uh, or changing cups or doing things like that. Anything that uh, requires you to walk on the turf can do damage to the turf. Now the detriment to frost to turf is that it causes brittleness to the leaf blades and any kind of traffic, walking on it, mowing, or anything uh, like that can cause damage to the turf. Golfers walking across it, people playing football on it, any kind of traffic or wear can cause damage. And so oftentimes we run into a situation where we get into frost delays. For example, this morning, uh, maybe you want to go out and play golf. Uh, even though it's a little cool, you can still play. Uh, you go out and they say, ah, we're not going to play golf. Uh, for a while. We're going to delay the tea times, whatever. All right. And the reason is they have to wait for the frost to melt off the turf. Because again, you do damage when there's frost on the ground. Now, one of the things to keep in mind too is if you're trying to lift a frost delay, is always check uh, uh, the shaded areas or the cooler areas. Because if frost is formed in shaded areas, it'll take much longer for it to melt versus the turf that's out uh, are, uh, out in the full sun where the uh, radiant energy warms it up. And so uh, frost delays are just part of uh, what goes on this time of the year. But the key thing is uh, if you're out on the turf that has frost, even though I'm out on this turf too, I'm causing damage to it by walking across it and uh, actually standing here. 